Hello, fellow space enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of solar storms and their potential impact on our planet. From mesmerizing celestial displays to potential cataclysms, the sun's dynamic behavior has both fascinated and threatened Earth throughout history. But before we delve into the details, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all things space-related. Now, let's journey into the heart of our solar system. Recently, an unusual solar storm occurred on the Sun, resulting in the formation of a giant fire canyon. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory showcased a vivid animation of this massive ejection of charged plasma. The solar wind reached Earth in April 2022, and on August 9, following a solar flare, charged particles bombarded our planet again. Traveling at 600 km per second, 372 miles per second. They collided with Earth's magnetosphere, causing auroras. The northern lights were visible in U.S. states from Maine to New York. However, scientists suggest that this time we were fortunate if a more powerful solar storm had hit Earth, it could have resulted in disaster. Solar storms have demonstrated their destructive power at least twice in the past. As our sun approaches its maximum activity, the likelihood of another powerful burst of plasma is increasing. How did these solar flares affect our planet in the past, and does the peak of our star's activity in 2023 pose a threat to Earth's destruction? Solar wind is generated when a stream of high-energy particles can no longer be held back by the sun's gravity. Scientists believe these solar winds emanate from large dark spots on the star known as coronal holes. Despite the vast distance between the Sun and Earth, coronal mass ejections can reach us in two to six days. The highest energy particles can cover the same distance in just two minutes. Most of these particles are redirected to the poles by the planet's magnetic field, and only a small number penetrate the atmosphere, emitting rays as they collide with gas molecules, causing atoms to emit light. However, during powerful solar flares with energy around 10 to the power of 25 joules, Roughly equivalent to millions of 100 megaton hydrogen bombs, plasma rushes through space twice as fast as usual. It bombards Earth's magnetic field with such force that charged particles either pierce or significantly deform it. This results in the formation of geomagnetic storms, the strongest of which can lead to numerous disasters. On September 2, 1859, British astronomer Richard Carrington observed a giant solar flare. Eighteen hours later, one of the strongest geomagnetic storms struck Earth. On that day, telegraphs throughout Europe and North America stopped working, and many telegraph poles were burned. People could see the northern lights almost all over the planet. While mankind recovered relatively quickly from the event, our civilization was not as dependent on electricity as it is now. In March 1989, another major solar storm plunged the entire Canadian province of Quebec into darkness, leaving millions without electricity for 12 hours. The solar outburst responsible for this event wasn't even that powerful. If the next solar explosion on the sun matches the power of the Carrington event, the most intense geomagnetic storm in recorded history, it could be catastrophic. Scientists initially believed such solar storms occurred once a century but recent research indicates they are more frequent than previously thought. Solar activity follows an approximately 11-year cycle, with the sun reaching peak violent activity during this period. Researchers analyzing changes in Earth's magnetic field confirm that the most significant bursts of geomagnetic activity coincide with the most powerful solar explosions. Two types of events are identified as most dangerous for Earth, strong magnetic superstorms, occurring roughly every three years and the rarest and most destructive megastorms, which happen about every 25 years. Over the past two decades, there have been no megastorms, but scientists expect the next one to occur in the near future. A potentially dangerous solar outburst occurred on the sun in 2012, but the solar wind at that time blew in a different direction, sparing our planet. The exact consequences of a future giant solar flare cannot be predicted but it is known that colorful auroras and a phenomenon called Steve may be visible. However, Steve could be a precursor to a megastorm, leading to major disruptions to electronic and aviation equipment, communications, power grids, and satellites. The consequences could extend to the depths of the ocean, 
destroying underwater communication cables and causing a worldwide internet apocalypse lasting several months or more. Estimates suggest damages in the range of billions or even trillions of dollars. If a solar storm of this magnitude had occurred in 2012, some countries might still be recovering today. The absence of lights, computers, and television seems trivial compared to other potential effects like droughts, floods, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Observations indicate that periods of high and fluctuating solar activity correlate with an increased frequency of earthquakes. This may have been a contributing factor to the magnitude 9.1 earthquake and tsunami in 2004, which claimed over 283,000 lives. To mitigate the disastrous consequences of solar storms, scientists are developing a warning system. Spacecraft like the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, and the Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, are studying the sun, providing data to alert us about extreme events. With the sun nearing its 11-year peak of activity, this information is crucial. However, scientists have discovered that powerful geomagnetic storms can occur unexpectedly during the sun's calm periods. Ancient ice samples from Greenland and Antarctica reveal that 9,200 years ago, a solar storm of unprecedented strength hit our planet, emphasizing the unpredictability of such events. Governments worldwide have declared space weather forecasts a priority in scientific development. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, traveling closer to the sun than any spacecraft before, is expected to enhance our ability to detect coronal emissions and track the formation of solar storms. The European Space Agency Solar Orbiter, launched in 2020, is already providing remarkable images of the sun. Meanwhile, researchers are exploring various strategies to protect Earth from space, including the development of an artificial geomagnetic field and the potential use of a human-made energy barrier created by low-frequency radio waves. While the protective measures currently in place may offer some defense against the consequences of solar storms, the question remains, can these methods truly shield us from the most severe threats, or should we explore additional, more reliable means of defense? Share your thoughts in the comments, as we wrap up our exploration of solar storms, we are left with a crucial question. Are we adequately prepared for the unpredictable forces of our sun? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed our cosmic adventure. If you're hungry for more space content, check out our other videos linked here. Until next time, keep looking up, stay curious, and may your skies always be clear. Thanks for watching.